Hey guys, Greenfee, and welcome back to another video. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to extract Minecraft dungeon files, whether that's models, sounds, or my personal favorite, textures. This process is a little bit tedious and very easy to screw up, so I'd really appreciate if you watched the entire video thoroughly and read the description before commenting an issue. And I also apologize in advance if I'm unable to solve your problem, this process is actually quite new to me, and I don't know that much more about it than you do. Also, before the video starts, I am assuming that you know how to do simple stuff like install software, navigate files, um, I will be showing you how to do it, but it would just be a lot easier if you kind of knew how to do that. But anyways, let's get into the video. Alright, so I'll put a link in the description, but um, one of the links should take you to Quick BMS. If not, you can literally just search it up. Quick BMS like that, and it should be like one of the first websites. But anyway, this is the website Quick BMS. So what you're going to want to do is click on this little blue text here, and it should turn orange or kind of red. And once you click on it, it will download this zip file, and it should take a fair amount of time to download, but just wait for it to download, depending on your Wi-Fi speed, and it should be done pretty soon. All right, so now that it is done downloading, what I'm gonna do is just probably drag this to the desktop here, and then we can open it. So inside here, there will be Quick BMS. This thing right here is actually the software that we're gonna use, but what we wanna make sure that we do is we want this zip file to kind of stay in one section. I don't know quite how this works, but I just know that this app right here relies on some of the files here. So make sure you keep them in one folder. So I'm just gonna keep the zip file on my desktop like this, and whenever you want to open this software you just click on this right here and it should open up. Now I'll probably put a link to like some sort of Google uh, sharing kind of download thing where you guys can download this but this is actually just it's like a file called dungeons BMS and this file is basically just um, showing quick BMS how to extract and unpack the Minecraft dungeon files it's just like a small little file but we will definitely need it for our extraction so we're just gonna put it on our desktop here now the last thing you're gonna need is the actual Minecraft dungeon files themselves. And the easiest way to do that is go down to this little search tool here and type percent app data percent right like that and now you can click enter and it should bring you to this. Now at the top here, just click app data, make sure that you're not in roaming, click app data and then click local. Then once you're in local, come down here and click Mojang, then click products then click dungeons, dungeons again, <laughs> dungeons again, content, packs. Now once you clicked packs, it is kind of a uh, sort of a long ways to get here, but once you click packs, there should be all of these things right here. Now these are actually all the pack files for Minecraft dungeons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder on my desktop, call it dungeons files packs, Make sure they all stay in here, because, you know, you want to play the, play your game. But I'm just going to press Control copy and then what we can do is press Control v and it'll copy all of these files inside of this folder right like this. Now you can close out of both folders, and now, on your desktop, you should have the quick BMS kind of zip file, the dungeons BMS file, and the dungeon file pack kind of folder that you have with all your dungeon files in them. Now one last thing, before you start unpacking these files, you're going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it output. This is just basically where all the unpacked files are going to be, so you just want to make sure that you have this handy. Now just a quick little kind of, not really warning, it's not anything bad, but um, it is kind of tedious. The next part of this process is extremely tiring. As of now, I can't really find a more efficient way to do this. It's actually quite tiring, and you have to go through each pack file one by one and unpack it. Um, I think there's like something like 20 something pack files in here. It's actually a lot. But what I like to do is have like a little piece of paper or some sort of notes app opened and just keep track of each one that I've done. So like I'll write one, two, three, four, five, and like so on. Um, and just make sure that you uh, keep track of each of the pack files. But anyway, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this. So 
<laughs> oh boy. So open up the quick BMS little zip thing and open up quick BMS right like this. Then click extract all and you can extract it. Now you can close out of both of these and this is the folder that you're going to want. So again, just to recap, you've got your dungeon files packs that you have taken from um, inside the game. You have the dungeons BMS file that you've probably downloaded from some sort of like Google Drive thing that I've shared so you guys can download it, uh, link in the description. Um, you have the zip here that you've got from the internet and then you have the extracted quick BMS files. Now you can just put the zip over here and you're only going to need kind of these three things and the output folder right like this. So open the quick BMS folder and open quick BMS. It's this one. It is not the four gigabyte files. It is this one. Make sure you click the quick BMS and that's it. So open it up and it'll say Windows protected your PC. Just click more info and click run anyway. It thinks it's some sort of file that's going to harm your PC, but don't worry, it, it won't. It's just for extracting pack files, so you can click run anyway. And now it'll open up um, like a little command prompt thing and it'll open up this little thing here. And you can also um, get rid of the folder that you've just opened. All you need is just the quick BMS kind of interface and this uh, command prompt thing. And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to give it the BMS script. So again, you've downloaded that from a Google Drive kind of shared thing and it'll say select BMS script in the top. So you're going to try to find that. So mine is on my desktop, it's called Dungeons BMS. Again, um, to show you that, it's this file right here on my desktop. So um, just make sure that you know kind of which one it is. This is Dungeons BMS, so you're going to click open. Then it'll do that and it'll say select input archives. So um, on my desktop here, I have dungeon files pack, that folder that we created with all the pack files. And I'm going to select the first pack file and you're going to and then you're gonna click open. Now it'll say select the output folder. So we have created an output folder. So on your desktop again, you can find that little output folder and you can click save. Now the little uh, command prop thing should do this. It actually looks kind of uh, cool because it's like you're some sort of hacker or something. I don't know. I don't really know. But uh, it should take a fair amount of time. Some of them will take like three seconds. I'm not even kidding. Some of them will take up to um, a few minutes. It just depends on how quickly it goes. Again, this is super uh, computer intensive, so your fans are probably going to start ramping up a little bit. It's going to start getting a little hot. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, um, it's pretty intensive. And there we go. So it's done. So it'll say press enter to close the window or quit. So press enter. And in the output folder, you can see you have a few files. Don't mess with them yet. Um, you want to still make sure you unpack all the pack files. So in my little notes app, I'm just going to write a little one and that way I'll know that I have unpacked the pack file. So again, you're going to go into that quick BMS folder, click to open quick BMS. You can close the quick BMS folder, but make sure you still have quick BMS opened. It's going to say select the script. So I'm going to say desktop, select the script, select open. Then it'll say um, select input type. So again, dungeon files pack, not the first one because we've already done that. We're gonna select the second one now. Click open, then the output, which should be on our desktop, the output folder here, and then you're, you're gonna press save. And hopefully this one takes a little bit of a shorter amount of time. And actually this took a similar amount of time. So I'm gonna click enter to close it. Now, you guys pretty much get the idea. If not, I'm gonna do this one more time. You're gonna wanna go to BMS folder, open up the BMS thing. It's gonna open up two things, but you're gonna make sure that you, well, actually you don't have to, but just for simplicity's sake. You can keep this open if you want, but I wanna close it. Um, anyway, go to your desktop um, or select your dungeons script, your BMS, dungeons.bms, click open, then your desktop, click, um, your dungeon pack and then check and then select like the third one or whichever one that you want to extract click open 
and then select your output folder, click save. It'll do the whole um, hacker man thing. Do that for as many, oh yeah, see this one took really short, but do that for as many of the pack files that you have. And I know there's like 20 or something in there and you've only done three. Some of them will take a very short amount of time. Some of them will take a very long amount of time. From my experience, the first two take the longest amount of time. But again, it's just that repetitive process. Now um, I'm gonna show you what happens if you open and try to extract a file that you have already extracted. It'll say, the following output file has already, like it already exists. So that way you'll just know that you've already done it. So what you can do is you can just click the little X and you don't have to worry about anything. It'll just give you an error and it'll just say that you've already done it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You're gonna wanna go through and do all of these. Um, and uh, yeah, it can be a very tedious process. It may take a kind of long amount of time depending on your computer's performance. But in my personal opinion, it's pretty awesome. It's um, it's it's pretty awesome. So now I'm going to switch over to my Mac and just show you some of the files that you can expect from this process. All right. So now that I'm on my Mac, I have the dungeon files here, and um, I apologize if Mac OS is kind of not too familiar to you. I just find it's a better operating system for demonstrating and kind of showing stuff. I find it's a better representation um, of all the files, but anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys what the kind of extracted dungeon files look like. So inside, you're going to find all this just kind of random stuff. Um, just a quick little way to get to the textures, if you're just interested in that. You go to inside the dungeon files, you find dungeons, this folder here, then content, then data, and then resource packs, and then each level actually has a separate resource pack. So for example, if we want to go to, I don't know, like pumpkin pastures, you go to images, and then you find blocks, and then this is the entire resource pack. So it has like a bunch of useless um, textures. For example, you'll have like beetroot stages. When are they going to ever be used? You'll have like beds and stuff, but um, some of them are pretty cool. You'll have like, for example, custom. So custom is just like random stuff. For example, this I think is what the grass looks like. And then you'll have like, I don't know, just different like stone textures, uh, just kind of cool stuff like this. Um, and this was all used in the pumpkin pastures level, which I think is pretty cool. Anyway, a lot of files are .uexp or .uasset. Um, I don't personally know how to open them in Blender. I know that you can. I might do another video in the future, but as of right now, I actually don't know how to do that. So there's probably like some sort of tutorial you can find on YouTube on how to open these in Blender, but I actually don't know how to do that. But yeah, this is pretty much all of the Minecraft dungeon files. I really hope you guys enjoy the video, and I really hope this video helps some of you guys learn how to extract these dungeon files and bring them into just a normal, friendly little folder format. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below but be aware I actually may not know the answer to your question because this process is pretty new to me so just be aware of that you might have to do some googling I might not know um, kind of how to solve your problem if this video helped you out I'd really appreciate if you could consider liking or maybe even subscribing it would actually really help me out and thank you so much to those who have subscribed it's actually really helped out the channel I know as of the recording of this video I'm nearing 700 subscribers which is extremely amazing um, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support. Um, I know I've said a lot, but I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. But with all that said, I will be seeing you guys later. Peace!